Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is the Deep Space Bundle from Bundle in a Box. Now I know there's a lot of bundles out there. I mean, at this very minute, I think there's about 8 or 10 bundles going on right now, and they're all vying for your attention. Bundle in a Box is a unique bundle in the crowd of bundly bundles. This bundle focuses on two things in particular that I think are worthy of your attention. Number one, the bundle is always themed. In this case, the theme is Deep Space Games. In the previous bundle in a box, the launch bundle, it was themed around adventure games. The other thing that's unique to this bundle is they always focus on an exclusive game which is developed for the bundle. So you definitely have to pay attention to Bundle in a Box and check it out. I think that the previous bundle, the Adventure Bundle, went largely unnoticed because of the timing of its release. There was a Humble Bundle going on, there was an Indie Royale, there was an Indie Gala, and I think it really deserved more attention. However, they've fallen into the exact same trap again. There is a Humble Bundle going on. There is an Indie Royale. There is an Indie Gala. There is an Indie Face Kick Bundle. There's a Build a Bundle. There's a Bundle Bundle. There's a, a dozen bundles. Really tough right now to differentiate yourself. And I think that Bundle in a Box is doing the things that a bundle should do to get your attention. It's just having a really hard time getting people's attention. And I really don't think that the couple of hundred people that subscribe to my channel are going to make or break the bundle in a box, but I want to throw whatever attention their way that I can. They do benefit charity, and I think more than that, they actually also benefit indie development. They have their indie dev grant, where we the people actually get to select where a portion of the proceeds from the bundle will go. Some indie developer is going to get a set amount of money based on the actual sales of the bundle. In this case, it looks to be about $230 right now. And this could make or break one of these indie companies. You can take a look at the different pitches that they have on their site, as well as casting your vote for the game that you think is definitely deserving of the Indie Dev Grant. Top to bottom, this is a really unique bundle experience. These guys are doing it the right way. They're not just grabbing 8 to 10 indie games, hell, maybe not even indie games if you're the Indie Gala, and just throwing them at you and spamming them in your direction, in your inbox, at a really short interval. They are actually taking time to have games developed for their bundles. And man, I just, I want to see the number on the screen that reads something like 2,300 bundles sold. I want that to be 23,000 bundles sold. You know, I want so much for these guys. I want the success that I think that they deserve. Okay, now with the hard sell out of the way, let's take a couple of moments to look at the games available at the two different price points in the Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle. So first up, if you're willing to meet the minimum price of 99 cents, and frankly, if you want to buy the bundle, you don't have any choice but to meet that minimum price, you're going to get Space Giraffe. Now, I think Space Giraffe is the uncontested headliner of this bundle. This is Jeff Mentor's abstract masterpiece, and really, there's no describing this game. It is a game that you have to experience on a visual and a visceral level. It will do things to your mind that probably require parental consent for those who are underage. I mean, this is a messed up game. But at the same time, it's amazing, it's fun, and uh, it really is just a hell of a mindfuck. So, Space Giraffe, the uncontested headliner of this bundle at the 99 cent level. Up next is DRM. That stands for Death Ray Manta. In this case, Bundle in a Box is DRM free apart from Death Ray Manta. And yes, this is a colorful, a blindingly colorful arena shooter. It's a bit of a love letter to the shooter genre. And this is the exclusive game that was developed just for the Deep Space Bundle. After that, we've got the Space Combat Simulator The Reckless from Duct Tape Games. Oh yeah, you can't have a Deep Space Bundle without having some kind of old-school throwback space sim 
Shades of TIE Fighter, Shades of Wing Commander, it's exactly what you want. The graphics, I love them. They look like maybe late gen N64, first gen PlayStation kind of graphics. Really like that. It seems like a definite stylistic choice and it gets my thumbs up purely on an aesthetic level. We've got our space sim. Now let's check off our adventure game. That's right, it's Dark Scavenger from Sidra Games. This game looks absolutely mad. Turn-based combat, point-and-click mechanics, really looks promising. I can't wait to play this one. I have definitely had a drought in my point-and-click playing. Really want to get back to it, and Dark Scavenger seems like a great chance to get back into it with a little bit of sci-fi point-and-click action. Now we're on to Armalite, the Commodore 64 classic updated for modern times. Apparently they actually got the original developers to assist in this modernization, this remake, whatever you want to call it. Great new soundtrack, really cool looking new graphics, a nice looking side-scrolling shooter. Haven't played it yet, but I am definitely looking forward to it. And now we're going to round out that 99 cent level with two bonus games, Bagful of Wrong and War Mac 2000 from Rob Farron. So these games were added after the fact, and they are definitely welcome bonuses. Bagful of Wrong is actually, I think, 10 games in one. So definitely check that out. That rounds out the 99 cent level. Now let's take a very brief look at the Beat the Average level, and then we are going to go on to my DRM Death Ray Manta first impression. So I'm a cheap guy. You all know that, right? I mean, Big Dave is cheap. That's my name. That's my YouTube channel. That's my website. I'm a cheap guy. So you might think that I only plopped down 99 cent for this bundle, but you'd be wrong. No, I beat the average and I think you should too. If you beat that average, three more games coming at you and Armalite extras are included as well. So let's hit the three games you're going to get for beating the average real, real quick. First up, Soul Exodus. This is a beautiful, fully realized, stunning space shooter. Just an absolutely immaculate game. Really, really highly recommended. Definitely take a look at it. I've had this game for a little while, played it just a little bit. It's a maybe a little too space semi for me, but if you like this sort of thing, you're going to love this game. We've also got Minor Wars Arena, which is a space mining sim? No, no it's not. It's a war between miners in an arena who want to kill each other. Apparently, it uses the mechanics of a PC classic called Tunneler. I've never heard of it, but that doesn't mean it's not a classic. It looks interesting, maybe a little bit of a one-trick pony, but I'm definitely willing to give it a try. So right about now, some of you out there might be talking to your screen and you might be saying something along the lines of, Hey, hey, wait a minute there. Uh, I thought this was an indie bundle. Yeah, it is. So if that's the case, uh, where's the uh, retro style pixel art platformer with chiptune soundtrack? Well, my friend, you're in luck. I guess I saved the best for last because here it is. It's your 2D indie retro 16-bit pixel art chiptune jumping, puzzling, shooting platformer Robot Riot from Retromite. So there you have it, my friends. Top to bottom, front to back, side to side. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you stack it up, the Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle, a great value. Right now, the Beat the Average price is under $5. Simply amazing. There's a whole host of other unlockable extras that unlock at certain sales levels. So check that out. It is on the website. It's bundleinabox.com, but it's actually bundle-in-a-box.com. So you might just want to use the link that's in the description below. So we're out of time here. I want to move on because I want to get to my first impressions video of Death Ray Manta from Rob Farron. That's going to be in the next video, but if you're ready for that, you should have a link to that appearing on your screen right now. Here it is. Click it. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. It is colorful. Put your sunglasses on and take your anti-seizure medications and then proceed straight to my DRM first impressions video. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. Hope you'll consider Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle. And until next time, take it easy.